Awesome. We'll go ahead and get started with Alex Calabrese. Alex, go ahead. Hey, Fabi. Congrats on the win. I just wanted to ask if you think it's a big relief to finally get a win after two and a half months. Yeah, it's a, it's, it's a relief, uh, of course. I mean, if you don't win for a long time, uh, you know, you want to you wanna always step on the field to get the three points. Uh, I, think, uh, I think in League's Cup, we actually did get the win. Um, you know, I think it was, when was that? Uh, late, late July, maybe. Um, so yeah, I mean, it, it feels, it feels good, you know, because it's, it's been a rough stretch after the uh, League's Cup, you know, getting, getting started again and, and not, not getting the win, only two points out of the last six games. Um, so yeah, finally, um, you know, the ball bounced our way. I think we were lucky, uh, today again at the end, but, uh, on the other hand, we could have also put the game uh, away early two three zero. Uh, when we had those big chances, so I think uh, overall just relieved and, and happy with the win, and, and uh, to see that we're still uh, very much in it now with two home games coming up, I think it's it's exciting uh, for us, it's exciting for the city, and now we can really prove, uh, you know, and and make a playoff push. Thanks, Fabi. Next, we we'll go to Vasily Skamnias. Vasily, go ahead. How's it going, Fabian? Congratulations on the win. And of course, just what was the message from coach at halftime? Because we did see the you guys get a little bit outplayed by the Red Bulls, but came back even stronger in that second half and should have been up by multiple goals. So can you just touch on the message that Frank may have given to you guys and what it means to finally get that the, the three points in the league? Yeah, I mean, uh, uh, I'm trying to remember what, what he exactly said in halftime, but uh, he just uh, yeah gave some tactical uh, adjustment on, on how to put more pressure on, on Red Bull. I think, um, you know, that, that we did really well uh, in the second half where, um, you know, that, that we yeah, put a little bit more pressure on them that they cannot, uh, yeah, have those easy lofted balls into, into the box. And uh, then offensively with the ball, he told us just to be better, you know, to move for each other, to show up and, and to, to move the ball better, you know, to make Red Bull run a little bit more. And I think, that scene where we where we connected, um, I played Johnny Dean through, and, and they they f need to foul him there, um, you know, to get the second yellow card. I think that's kind of what showed, um, you know, what coach uh, told us at, at halftime as well. You know, that's kind of been uh, representative of, of that, where we actually do move the ball and, and you know try to go get into their uh, offensive third, and you know they need to make a foul, and then they make a poor play, and now all of a sudden we're we're man up, and and we get a goal out of it. So. I think those adjustments were really good, and then uh, I forget I forgot the second part of the question. Sorry. I'm sorry. Just uh, the I apologize. Just uh, it was. How can you? What are the feelings getting three points in the league? Because I do know you guys have picked up a win during league's cup, but to finally get those three points in Major League Soccer. Right. Uh, how does it feel? No, it feels good. Obviously, uh, getting the win always always feels great. Uh, it's it's very hard to do. Uh, wins don't come come easy for us. You know, we're not a team uh, like I don't know, like Cincinnati, Nashville, Columbus. You know, that beat teams like four or five one at times. You know, we always have to put everything into it. Uh, every game, ninety minutes, we have to fight hard. And and even now, uh, even today. Uh, being a man up, you know, we still we still have to fight to the very last second, you know. So so wins don't come that easy, you know. We don't have that that flow, um, but but I think the the guys really fought hard for it, and, and and we have to keep fighting for those wins because because we know how hard we have to suffer and have have to fight for it. So so it feels even better than when you do to get that win and and get on the other side of it. All right, we'll go last question back to Alex Calabrese. Alex. Uh, thanks, Jamie. Uh, Fabi, really big game on uh, on Wednesday against Miami. Good team, really big crowd expected as well. How can you use the momentum from closing out the win tonight against the Red Bulls into that important game on Wednesday? Yeah, of course. I mean, Miami, since uh, the arrival of, of Messi, they've gained a lot of momentum, um, you know, playing really well. But it's not only Messi. They had, like, I think six six guys in that summer window, you know, all high-quality players, you know, that know how to play, that they're really – Talented guys, obviously, and um, you know they they're a really dangerous team now in the league. Um, you know where whereas they were just uh, in last place before they all uh, arrived. So 
uh, they have momentum, but I hope we can feed off the, of that win uh, that we just got now. You know, hopefully we, we can just get that curve um, now, you know, in the final stretch of the season uh, with the last uh, three games, you know, two of them being at home. Hopefully, yeah, we, we just, you know, got away with, uh, you know, with a tough stretch at the right time and now, um, you know, getting that curve and, and, and you know, making a 180 turn and, and uh, picking up hopefully a few more points now uh, with, the, with the next two home games and, and then we're going to NYCFC for the very last game. Thank you. Great stuff.